Hello everyone, welcome to Simple Trading Style. Uh, today we are going to talk about monthly stock market review and we will figure out is it still bearish trend or a change direction. Let's do it, let's move to trading view. If you want to learn more about trading view setup, just go to the description and get link to uh, my training. Uh, or also you can get uh, other links to all my trainings from the description. Thank you so much. Or from play playlist, I have several playlists. Please watch it. Please watch them and you will learn from it very quickly and you will learn the simple trading style. It's easy. I'm sorry, it's a simple, but it's not easy because of your emotions involved. Emotions, everyone has a personal emotion. Let's move, let's check monthly time frame. Remember, on, I don't trade monthly or weekly time frame. I use it just to monitor the market direction just general direction of the market it's good for investors but not for traders okay uh, to see the just trader that that's good for traders just to monitor not to trade <laughs> okay let's 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 do it let's start from spy spy monthly last bar touched it's a, it's a green bar touched a may 10. still bearish trend on MACD, still bearish trend on the moving averages, let me, yeah, still bearish trend. Moving averages, like, let me tell you about quickly. It's a May 200 white line, and my yellow line, it's a May 20. Red line, it's a May 10. And green line, it's a May 5. Also, MACD, green line, it's a bullish. Red line, it's a bearish. Yellow line, it's a signal line. Okay, let's... Actually, let me correct it because my my trend is different. A signal line should be white. Let me simply correct it. And uh, zero line should be yellow. That's what we should expect. Right? That's what we should expect. Like this one. Very nice. Okay, signal line white, red line it's bearish, yellow it's a zero line between bullish and bearish. Okay, let's let's move to weekly. Weekly spy, weekly spy is bullish. It's a different monthly bearish, weekly bullish by signal bullish, right? Let's go back to monthly again. It's a still sell signal, no changes. Let's move to Q's. Q's, Q's monthly, same story, sell signal, sell direction on MACD, sell direction from January 3rd, 2022, for 12 months still bearish trend monthly, kind of last bar far from May 20, that's that's what we know it 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 when it's far from 81 it always wants to connect to 20 it looks like someday it change direction it will connect to 20 still bearish trend still bearish trend it has some bearish yeah, bearish yeah bearish trend on monthly let's check daily weekly for queues weekly for queues buy signal green week it touched the May 200. It's a uh, weekly. It's a bullish. It's a bullish weekly, right? Still bullish. MACD was ready. The previous week it was ready to do bearish crossover. It was in decision mode. In decision mode, you never know. It can go up and down or down. It moved up. It moved up. On MACD, it's still bullish trend. Buy signal on the script. But negative part, it's a May 20 did buy. A May 20, let's see the other whites. Let me show you this bearish crossover, right? It's a bearish crossover. MA 20 just did it. Let me change color to red. This, this bearish crossover we saw it last time 14 years ago at 2008. 
I did show it already to you on the weekly time frame. Also, I created shorts. You can watch short market crash for to, for 2023. We, 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 we observed the same scenario in 2023. Let me let me show you what happened in 2008 when we we didn't see that bearish crossover for last 14 years. Look at it. One 40 years we didn't see it, right? The last time we saw it in 2020, 2008. In 2008, we, we observed the same bearish crossover. After that, it was market crash, double bottom. A year later, it was it was kind of October, October 2008. A, a year later, we observed the bullish crossover, right? Bullish crossover in, to, in November 2009. That's what we have. It's it is it is yeah, it is bullish. In 2009, it was bullish, but as of now, it's a bearish crossover, and we have we cannot ignore it. We have to watch it and be ready for market crash. It will happen this year. At least correction will continue. Correction will continue. It, it didn't stop. And if you if you check the let let me let let me make it yeah, trend line, trend line. It's still downtrend, right? Look at it. Each time bar touched, it bounces. It bounces here. It bounces here. It bounces here. It bounces here. Let's see. Maybe it will touch and bounce from here also, or it will cross and will will make a bull 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 run. But as of now, still bearish trend, bearish direction. We have yeah, we have bullish divergence from this point. It's a bullish divergence, right? Uh, still bullish divergence. It didn't disappear. Still bullish divergence on the trend, but. And at the same time, it's a bearish trend, a bearish trend on weekly time frame. Okay, and uh, weekly bullish, monthly bearish, right? Monthly still bearish direction. Let's move to IWM, Russell 2000. Russell 2000 MA5 is ready to do bullish crossover. Green bar, bullish week. That's good. And uh, MACD, it's still red below zero line. It's kind of trying to connect to signal line. We'll see if it can can do it. The similar was here, right? Like, and after that, it was huge sell off. Uh, so far, and it touched the May 200. Well, it, it was 2020, right? Let's see. Let's see if it can do bullish crossover and bull run. So far, it's a bearish. Trend on monthly still bearish trend for IWM. On weekly, different story. MACD was ready for bearish crossover and it touched the made a signal line and and turn back to bullish. Turn back to bullish on the script uh, by signal. The last bar close above all moving averages. That's how powerful it is. Like previous week, it was. Bullish hammer, and like three weeks ago, it was in uh, in decision mode for two weeks. That's why it was ready for bearish crossover, and it did actually bearish crossover, and it moved up to bullish. Move up to bullish, but it has bearish divergences, right? Because we are on the same level with on this resistant level, but MACD didn't move far. It's a bearish divergence. Bearish divergence on the Histogram, bearish divergence, on weekly bullish trend with bearish divergence. Let's move to Apple, Apple monthly. Let's see what's going on with Apple monthly. Apple monthly, bearish trend, right? Apple monthly, still bearish trend. 
will bearish trend. Last bar far from MA20. Bearish direction, MA5 did bearish crossover, MA10 did bearish crossover. Bearish trend on MACD, no changes on monthly bearish trend for Apple. Let's move to one week. To weekly time frame, still bearish trend also. It's a bearish trend also. It has bullish divergence. We on weekly right look at this direction. It's a bearish trend on the on the MACD. It's an uptrend. Let me what's going on. It's an uptrend. It's a, it's a bullish bullish divergences. Bullish divergences, but you never know it. It's still still yeah bearish trend. It connected to MA5, but still still in the bearish mode. No changes. Let's move to Tesla. Tesla Tesla monthly bearish trend on Tesla monthly no changes bearish trend very far last bar very far from it one and remember the one is far from it here it was very far from it when it came back to me 20 right same here it's far from it when it it wants to come back to me 20 someday it will come back to me 20 monthly so far still bearish mode weekly weekly it's a bearish mode also no changes last bar just connected to ma5 connected to ma5 uh it's it's still yeah it's still still bearish on macd the only one positive bullet that it's far from MA20, far from last bar, far from MA20, but it's a bearish MA5 did bearish crossover, MA10 bearish crossover. And remember, it's the same. MA20 ready for bearish crossover. Let's see when Tesla last time did. Uh, not far away. It, it did bearish crossover in, on 2019 last time it did bearish crossover 2019 and after that it was bearish trend for yeah 2019 and now looks like it's ready also ma20 ready for bearish crossover if it, it will take several weeks it's not ready yet but it is in the bearish direction bearish direction weekly and monthly for tesla okay let's do summary let's do summary for indexes, monthly time frame, monthly all indexes bearish, bearish direction, no changes, even we had green bar for the week, it was bullish week, monthly it's still bearish trend for all indicators, except I, DIA, DIA also bearish, I did actually, I, I think I missed DIA, let's, let's, let's do review for DAA. Monthly is still bearish, right? MACD didn't conform, but it's strong change. We see MACD just strongly change direction and ready for bullish crossover on monthly and it closed. MA5 did bullish crossover. Dow is the strongest index and it stopped at MA200. I'm sorry, at MA20. It stopped at MA20. MA200 is still uptrend. Generally, monthly it's still bullish trend for 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 Dow Jones and and the all moving yeah the bars still above all moving averages buy signal bullish trend on monthly even and uh, even move uh, MACD is still red MACD is still red but it's bullish trend on monthly it's only one index that has bullish trend monthly and weekly it's a bullish trend also buy signal by signal on weekly is bullish trend but looks like it it builds bearish divergence bearish divergence looks like on the histogram we'll see it's still in the progress let's move to spike again only dow jones bullish on monthly and weekly the other indexes on monthly they are still bearish bearish trend on weekly they all bullish they all bullish on weekly on MACD, 
uh, kind of bullish because like buy signal. Uh, MACD is still bullish, but they conform no confirmation on moving averages. Moving averages MA5 still below MA10. And direction still bearish. General direction of the market still bearish. Remember about it. We are in the, in the bullish signal with bearish trend generally. That's all. Thank you so much. Let's move to uh, disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor. This video for educational informational purposes only. Please read it. Uh, thank you for watching Simple Training Style video. I do publish updates for uh, weekly, uh, monthly, for, uh, for stock markets, for daily, for cryptos, for ETFs, multiple daily updates. Please subscribe for all my channels to get all my updates and learn uh, simple trading style please click like button to support the channel thank you so much i really appreciate all your efforts and good luck bye now